going slightly mad I'm going slightly mad You wanna say? Okay, you can say. Please like and subscribe. Okay, you happy? You're not happy. Why are you happy, Aloysius? Oh, your book got turned down by a publisher. Oh, that's no good. What did you, where did, where did you send it? You sent your memoir to Lonely Planet. Uh. Oh, I think I can see what the problem is there, Aloysius. You sent a memoir to a travel company, a, a travel publisher. No, all publishers are not the same. No. So, so, so when you sent your, is that the only place you sent your book, Aloysius? Yes, because after they rejected me, I was so depressed, I slept in my cave. Oh, well, but it wasn't a real rejection. What do you mean it wasn't a real rejection? It wasn't a real rejection that you, you sent the book to the wrong type of publishing house. That, that, that doesn't count as a rejection. They were going to reject it no matter what it was, so long if it was, unless it was a travel book. Well, yeah, because they specialize in travel guides. That's, that's, that's how publishers work. They have specializations. They don't just publish everything. But I don't know of any publishers. Well, that is a problem. That is why anyone who is looking to send their book somewhere should go and check out the Australian Writers Marketplace, which has all the publishers in Australia in one place. Huge database. I think it costs about $50 a year to join. I'm not sure exactly. I will put a link down below so that you can find out. What do you mean you don't want to spend that kind of money? Once I send it to the publisher, I have to pay. You do not have to pay once you send it to a publisher. No, we're going to talk about, we will talk about those in a whole other video. That's, that's a whole different kettle of fish. Let's just talk about being rejected. Now, I have sent things off, Aloysius. I have been rejected many times. I have been accepted. I have come very close to being accepted. And so I can tell you all about rejection from publishers. There are two main letters that you get if you're being rejected by a publisher. First letter. First letter is the letter they send you when they never ever want to hear from you again. This letter is the letter that says, Dear so-and-so, thank you for your manuscript. Unfortunately, it does not suit us. Sincerely, blah, blah, blah. Yes, very little information. That is a way of telling you, please never send us anything again. We're trying to discourage you because you're drivelo. Yes, I know. Bit mean, but you know, at least they didn't say you're rubbish to your face. So that's the first kind of rejection. Second kind of rejection. Now this is the other kind of rejection. This is the one that is, it's, it's not you, it's me. Yeah, they do that. It's not you, it's me. This is the kind of rejection where they say, Dear so-and-so, thank you for your manuscript. Unfortunately, it is not for us at this time. Please think of us in the future. That's when they're really, really close. If you're not really, really close, they might say, it's not for us at this time. We wish you best of luck in finding a place elsewhere. Which means they don't like it. They possibly don't like you. But they, do think that, but they don't think that it's such a terrible dislike that they're going to think that you could never get published by someone else. So they're, they're saying, please send it to other people. 
The first one doesn't encourage you to do that because they do not want to get in trouble with their friends for sending it off to getting them terrible manuscripts. But, you know, let's not say that out loud. But the second, second one of those, the one that says, please keep us in mind for the future. So it, what that means is generally we have too many books that look like this on our list or this looks very much like something that's coming out with one of our other writers. And so we'll try, we do like your writing, but we can't take this book at this time. So it means that if you do it, they do like your writing and you can send them another book in the future. And acceptance obviously looks like, thank you, we accept your novel, um, here is a contract, blah, 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 blah. What about if they ask for $20,000? Ah, Yes, that's then you stumbled on a thing called a vanity press. Yes, I don't like calling them vanity presses. I like to call them predatory presses because predatory presses prey on people's lack of understanding about the publishing industry. Now, a predatory press will tell you, yes, we'll accept your book even if it's no good, they don't really have any major quality control. But you have to, they will say that the way that they, the modern way of publishing is for authors to contribute to the cost of publishing their book. <clears throat> no, it isn't. It is not the modern way of publishing. That is their scammy way of getting all their costs met up front and their profit and never selling your book. Never, ever ever. They have rubbish distribution. The book cannot be found easily in stores and they do not make their money at the back end. A good publisher, a reputable publisher puts their money up front and makes their money off sales. And if this book doesn't sell well, then they lost money. But then's the breaks. That's the risk. That's the risk. They take the risk, which is why the, a genuine publisher gets a lot more say over a lot of things, simply because they're putting the money up. She who pays the bills gets the last word. But a vanity press will tell you that you have to pay this to publish your book. Do not do that, because it is even cheaper than they make out to publish a book. You can publish a book for not very much money online as an ebook. Of course, if you skip some of the steps like a cover design and an editor, no one will read your book. But self-publishing is a perfectly valid option, especially if your book is highly niche. If your book is something that is unlikely to sell very many copies, if it is something that is made for a very specific target audience that you have access to, then self-publishing is perfectly acceptable. But it doesn't have to be your first option. But vanity publishing, do not go near it. If you're putting your money in, you want to be able to hold your copyright, have ownership of your typeset, have access to your distributor. You want to know these things. You don't want to have all of that in the hands of somebody else who is there just to siphon money out of you, the author. And self-publishing is cheaper. So, Aloysius, with all of this in mind, do you think that you might send your book out again? Yes. Yes, I think it would be a very, very good idea if you did send your book out again. Maybe you might want to get a structural edit done or a reader's report done before you send it out. But you can send your book out making sure that you send it to people who accept memoirs. Yes. No, don't send it to somebody who explicitly says no. They don't. Don't do that. Yes, later on we'll have a talk about how exactly you sort things out to send a package off to a publisher. Yes, okay. 
Okay, yes, I think we're done. I think we're done. You feel more confident now? See, they didn't reject you. They rejected a book that was not within their genre. Yes. The Volker Finger, ich bin ja, ist Lust, bereise, das, das, das. Bye bye.